Agriculture officials are taking proactive measures in the event of an outbreak of the lethal yellowing disease that can wreak havoc on the local coconut industry. Grenada's Office of Caddy, along with a delegation from the International Trade Center and the Coconut Industry Board of Jamaica, with support from the Ministry of Agriculture, organized a one-day exercise geared at educating stakeholders about the disease, control measures, and recommended agronomic practices for coconuts. This is part of the implementation of the CARIFUM OACPS Alliances for Coconut Industry Development in the Caribbean Project, Phase 2, funded by the European Union. While the lethal yellowing disease has not been identified in Grenada, this strategy, according to CADI Director Reginald Andel, is to prepare stakeholders for the disease if it is found in Grenada. You want to zero in on lethal yellowing disease in coconut production. Although lethal yellowing is not present in what we think is not present in Grenada as yet. It's a very serious problem in Jamaica and therefore we thought it's fitting to prepare ourselves. Chief Agronomist at the Ministry of Agriculture, Alison Hines, said understanding the increase in local coconut production for consumption by the local market because of the nutritional value, the ministry is placing greater focus on increased propagation of the plant. According to Hines, this information is timely given the impact of the pests in other regional countries. It's not present here in, in Grenada. Um, I know the, the pest management unit is working hard, um, beefing up the, the quarantine and looking hard to doing their surveillance so that if the pest is identified, actually can be taken, right, to avoid any spread. So I think this trade is very important for us. Now the pest is not here, we know it's um, close because I, I believe that countries like um, Antigua, Jamaica, Cuba, um, some of these countries already have lethal yellow present. So we know the Caribbean is one small community and pests and movement organization and that pests moving and I know the nature of um, the whole coconut is, is dispersed and is dispersed by the sea and knowing that we are coastal region. So I think it's important that we prepare ourselves now in the event that we have um, or we identify that person. For GBN News, I am Rena Pet Thomas reporting.